Ooh, that's a nice one, dude. I like the size of it. Ooh. Oh, where are we, dude? Where are we right now? Niagara. Niagara. Well, everyone, me, Jordan, and Sean are out here in New York right now, and it is officially drop day. That is right. Ear, right ear, after, ear, 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 ear. right after this video, everyone, the drop is live. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, summer merch drop. I'm so excited for you guys to see this thing. We have put more effort into this drop than any drop we've ever done. I even right? helped. Jordan even I helped. I even helped. Everyone. everyone helped on this one, Alex. I got pop off camera and everyone helped on this one. There's some absolutely epic stuff. So make sure you guys, right after this video, are on our website. We really, really appreciate the support. And I say it all the time. You guys are what makes this whole brand possible. Without all you addicts out there supporting us and buying our merch and watching our videos, we wouldn't be able to do this. And we wouldn't be able to make these videos for you. So we appreciate the support. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the river in this new episode. Thank you, everybody. That we're filming right now is coming very soon. Yes. Coming big, very soon. Big water. Big, big water out here in New York. All right, guys, let's kick off this video for tonight. It's a banger. 7 p.m. We'll see you there. Came off. I swear to God, he just came off. Dang it! Oh, first bite of the day, everybody. We're sitting here talking Dang to YouTube. I felt him pop. He just popped, dude. In the story we were just talking oh, about that. that felt good. That got us going. Brought worst bite. Brought bite. Well, dang it, addicts. We finally had a nice take on this wobbler rod, and so I thought this was a good opportunity to kind of show you guys what we're doing here. It is a pretty complex setup, but what a heartbreaker. I didn't really, you know, that fish was there. Like he broke the rock by himself, which is typically what you want. And I reeled to him, I felt him, he was fighting good and he just popped off. You know, that's the thing that sucks is out here in the Columbia River, we have to use barbless hooks. And on these wobblers, you only, you only got one treble hook on there. And if just, they roll just the right way, they can come off of those barbless hooks. So unfortunately that's what happened, but we got a lot of tide left, so that's a good sign to come. All right, Addict, so I'm gonna rip through this really quickly. If you guys wanna see a more in-depth tutorial on this, I'll put a link in the description. We've done a few of these on our channel showing you exactly how to rig this stuff. But I'm gonna just go through it really quick for you. So to start out, I like to use these little, weed, I call them the weed bead, because a lot of times as the weed comes down, it'll catch on that bead versus getting down in all your setup. So I got my weed bead. I got another little bead here that's gonna protect my knot just like that, and then you're gonna start with your first three-way swivel. This is just a basic three-way, cheap little swivel you can buy at any tackle store. And then what I got here from there is I got nine feet of 50 pound. This is nine feet of 50 pound monofilament. Again, this is just some cheap monofilament that I bought at Walmart, anything works. To another three-way swivel. Then you have nine more feet of this 50 pound to your last three-way swivel. And then off of each of your three ways, that's where you attach your duo snap to a six bead Brad's bead chain. Then I have three feet of 50 pound tough line fluorocarbon to two feet of 50 pound Again, you could use fluorocarbon, doesn't matter. This is just uh, monofilament. So another two feet of monofilament. And then basically you just repeat that step off of every single three-way. So you have your duo snap, bead chain, three feet, two feet, down to your Brad's wobbler. And as you can see, that one's got a lot of teeth marks on it. Oh, that was probably a summer Chinook too, guys. We were out in a little deeper water, probably a 50 pounder. June hog. June hog. Drop it at 34 feet. Just drop me in the exact same spot. That could be fine. Get it, drop Yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> Ah, 
Nice. What do you think, Jordan? Hell yeah. <laughs> What's up guys, I figured I'd just show you exactly how I caught that fish. What I'm using here is a little bit on the light side for me. I'm using 30 pound, but it works pretty well. I got about, I usually go for my arm links out. That's my go-to. So it's about 30 something inches right in that range. Same thing that Marlon was talking about earlier. We're just using these triple swivels here. You get these at any fishing store. Got about a 12 inch dropper on there. And right now I'm only running two of them. I typically run three. But since I've been fishing so shallow, I figured no sense in running that third one. But I have it led down. I'm using three six millimeter beads. A lot of times I'll put another bead on top of that spin glow there. Like a two aught hook to a bait holder knot. Got these coon shrimp here. Take the bait loop knot, slide it out. They go right through the back right there. Right out the head. Be careful not to break that head. It's real important. Be real gentle. And then to get this thing to hold, just bring this tail up, put that bait loop right under that tail, just like that. Cinch it up. And that there, folks, is how you run a spin glow for Spring Chinook. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, he's there. He's there. Hey, that rod, that rod, that rod. Come on! Nice. Stop. Keep going. Real, keep real, going. Real, keep real, going. Real. Keep going. What do you got here? Soft? Yeah. That's your drag, though. <laughs> oh, shit. I think he just popped. No way. Oh my gosh. Dang. Yep. Off the line. Oh, he got wrapped uh, around that other spingle and pulled it out. Yeah, that one was. Dang. Hey, go over, go over, go over. Over, 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 <laughs> Big wild oh, salmon. Damn. What a beautiful fish. Sea lice and all. Look at that. What's happened? That must have side wash? Perfect. Just right in the side of the mouth. Summer Chinook for sure. I mean, yeah. clear fins. Snowball. Yeah. Belly. Yeah. yeah. Attics, beautiful wild summer Chinook. Thanks to WDFW for letting us catch these this year. Make sure if you guys are out here fishing for these, really just take care of these fish. Keep them in the water. Don't drag them up on these beaches. Don't get sand in their gills. You know, We're gonna let him go because he's ready. Just a platinum Ooh, fish. Belly. Little, you're being so good. All right, Attics. See you later, buddy. Thanks for playing. Woo, dude. Yeah! Jordan, give me some pound! Alex, give me nice. some pound! Addicts, give me some pound. Fish, fish, bottom rod, go! I thought I was running back, the drag was coming out. I was why I wasn't like forcing it. Ooh, that's a nice one, dude. Ooh. I like the size of it. Ooh. 
working yet. Whew, I'm scared. Is that the one we put those spingles on? Yep. Oh my Charles, God. we had to set my route up with Charles. But good thing I'm faster than Charles. I beat him in a foot race today. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, it's a really nice one. Oh, oh, that's a pretty fish. Stop that, stop that. I hate those head shakes. Sam start walking. Oh yeah. Oh God. What do you mean, dude? I don't know, it's a nice one. It's a Chinook, it's definitely a Chinook. Oh, it's a nice one. I don't like how long this is taking, come on. Uh, oh God, he's ripping. Came off. No, he didn't. No, oh, he kicked it. He kicked it. He just kicked it. Oh, lost it. Yeah, really? <sighs> no, I'm too left. We just got a fish on right as I was heading over there. Seriously? <sighs> I didn't like how long that was taken. I had a bad feeling about that. Ah! Charles, help him what he's gonna do. Got dragged, there you go. Just be real gentle if he wants to go, let him go. <laughs> That's the key, don't let the pressure he's going up. off. He's going up. Real faster, real faster. Real. Yeah, real, real, real. Stay on him. See this rod? You want that to be bent. Yeah, you want to yeah, feel yeah. that fish. But you don't want to overdo it. Okay. There's a, there's a thin line between pulling Apparently. too hard and not enough. Oh, 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 oh. Stop for a second. Oh. I even heard it. Like, oh. He's shaking hard. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him right, 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 right there on the head. Come over here. Right here. Ah, uh, bait. Hit him yeah. right there. Right there. Nice. Oh, one more. Good job, dude. Hit him like a mat. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. I thought Fresh it was meat. first, dude. Oh, I thought he... Yeah, Thank buddy. Yeehaw, first one. Dude, that net literally... That is a spring oh, chinook right there, dude. It was broke. Is that your first work. salmon ever? Yep. A little bit more. There you go, right there. <laughs> Damn it. We've had a pretty big lull in the bites and we finally just got a take down here on this rod, middle coonie. And the nice thing is, is that just told us that a lot of these baits are probably pretty weedy. We might want to do a rerun, huh? A few of them, especially those bobble rods. Yeah, we're gonna need to do a rerun, but it's been a good day so far. Had a lot of takedowns. Beautiful weather, finally. Let's give a thumbs up for the rain ending in the Pacific Northwest. Let's hope it stays away. This is why we should do one tenth. I think this one we should do one ten. Perfect. So on the menu for today, we're doing salmon wings. And this is an idea that I had weeks ago as I was eating collars. So I'd love to smoke these things. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about about collars, it's that front shoulder of the fish. Basically the gills are supposed to be here and where you cut the fillet is right here in the back. And so all that meat goes to waste a lot of time, but I think I have a really good creation. This is the first time I've ever done this one. So I'm gonna season these things up. The way I like to cook my hot wings, like I would normally with chicken, is I like to fry them first, and then you season them, and then you throw them on the barbecue. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I have my wings, and I have some of the anal fins, basically, from the back end of the fish. You can see those big chunks of meat. And really this, this epiphany came to me while I was eating on some smoked fish that I made because as you eat these collars, you break them apart, there's little bones in there, and it's just like eating a chicken wing. So I said, hell, why not season a piece of fish just like the chicken wing and see how it turns out. So here it goes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of cowboy rub. This is some Weber seasoning. And then I'm gonna go into the pan and fry them in a little bit of oil first. So I'm gonna get these things good and covered in seasoning. A little bit more seasoning. I'm gonna go just a skosh of mustard in here. Just like that. 
Just a small bit of Frank's. Mm. Toss those bad boys up. Woo, look at the toss. Look at the toss. Look at the form. Look at it. It's all in the chest. What do you guys think of Jordan right now? He's looking Very real hot. right. He's looking real right. Ready to eat. No, I mean me, I'm ready to eat. I'm ripe. Okay, so I'm gonna go right into the pan for just a quick sear. I'm gonna do a meat side down. Okay, so I'm only gonna half cook these things in here. I don't wanna get them too done. I'm just giving them a nice little bit of heat. Get these things started. I don't want that meat to start falling off the bone like you're starting to see there. And that's looking real good. Go back into the pan with these. A little bit more of the red hot in there. Not too much. And then some sweet baby rays. Sweet and spicy. Give it one more little toss. And this is why it's important to not cook those things too far through, because you don't want to break that meat up when you start to toss it like this and end up throwing all that good meat off the bones there, because picking it off the bones is half the fun. Oh, just like that. And obviously I could have just finished these off in the pan, but I feel like the best flavor comes from that charring of that barbecue. So I'm gonna cover this up, let it go for about five minutes, and we'll be ready to eat. Okay, the time is now. And there you have it, salmon wings. Let's give them a try. I'm gonna go with this one first, that looks perfect. It's got a beautiful char to it, a little bit of seasoning. It's got all the goodies on it. Oh, I'm excited. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, it worked. Salmon wings are officially a thing. Here you go. Let me try a piece of these. What's this right here? That's called Chunkzilla. Mm. <laughs> it's all about picking out bones. Just like, to me, it's like one of the best pieces. It's good. Man, that flavor from the mustard. It's so good. That sweetness from the, from the barbecue. Oh man, we did it. One more, bud? Here, I'll get one of those. Are they hot? Yeah, I would take one of these though. This is a little bit easier. Dude, highly <laughs> recommended. Those are really good. Those are really, really good. And it's an interesting blend of seasoning. It's not something you'd put on salmon a lot, but it's what you would put on a chicken wing That's and it works. Good. You like that? Isn't that oh, interesting? It's, it's like good. a tangy, it's like an interesting flavor. Okay, let's get into the actual collar. How juicy it is. It's so good. Mm. Well, everybody, that's a wrap for today's adventure. It got cold on us, the clouds moved in, and it's time to go home and cut some fish up. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.